also something just dropped on my roof and it kind of scared the living shit out of me it actually scared me pretty bad uh, so I'll have to see how that uh, that works out Ooh, lots of pikes on the uh, NA side here. A lot of pikes on the NA side. I'm actually put some in-game sand on real quick, briefly. It does look like it's going to be a pretty juicy fight. Uh, unit comps are definitely healthy. Um, looks like Odin's Legion taking the assault to begin here with the Chaco Paladins taking the defensive here. Look at um, No Artie is allowed in this fight, obviously, so FYI. Yeah. Um, a lot of Outriders. Uh, every single player almost has Outriders for, Odin, for for Chocolate Paladins right now. That is a very shocking development. Really mm -hmm. relying on the Outrider strat there. Madao's mixed with Reapers, Senji, some Florida Brachio Flame mixed in. Decent unit composition. Very surprised by the Outriders. I really have to, people are they're really swearing by those Outriders right now for the uh, Chocolate Paladin team here. And it looks like EU the um, the Odin's Legion team taking the classic strat of mainly infantry mixed with some Javelins mixed in and a couple cap here and there. But mainly an infantry base of, uh, of a team here. Uh, we'll have to see how it goes. Who is co-casting? My good friend Tao will be is joining me this evening in the box to commentate. What's up, guys? <laughs> All right, here we go. Here goes the loading. Yeah, lots of really good players on both sides. So you know this match could go either way. Um, oh wow, interesting setup. Yeah, it's gonna be. Uh, <laughs> this is gonna be interesting. This is gonna be interesting. Yeah. I'm. Uh, I'm not sure yeah. about this one. <laughs> Knowing Blake, uh, you know, he's always coming up with random stuff, so yeah. it's always fun to watch like what he comes up with. <laughs> <laughs> well, I have to see how this goes down. I'm really looking forward to these two clashing heads. I think it's going to be a very nice fight here. Um, I think this map is, to be honest, very defense-oriented, but that's just my personal opinion, and it could really go uh, either way here. I just got to get used to the keyboards real quick. Sorry about that. Alright, how do I control this stuff? Uh, Z and then Z, Z and then R and then Q and W S. Look at oh. that! You got oh, Chunk and Powers going over the hard Sally to start off the fucking <laughs> fight, guys! It doesn't get better than that! Look at that and it looks I can't even speak yet. Oh, I wasn't expecting this. Odin's Legion already in central position, set up right away, expecting the salad by looks of it. A truck going off right away. Looks like Chaka Pelts will secure supply point decisively. Odin's Legion taking a central conservative approach, watching the back lines. I I I, I Oh my god, let's get on the engagement here. Chocolate Power is going full Outrider, a uh, full Outrider Sally. That's why they have the Outriders, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> here it is, they are just full line formation, going in and converging on Odin's Legion right now. A lot of trades happening here. No team really taking the lead here. Supply point decisively taken by Chocolate Paladins. Putting Odin's Legion on a defensive front right off the bat. They're giving them no time to breathe right now, ladies and gentlemen. No time to breathe at all. Oh man, they're, it looks like uh, Chocolate Paladin is surrounding them too, so man, holy crap, this is not like a position you want to be in. Mm -hmm. But let's see what uh, Odin's Legion comes up with here. Looks like they're all being surrounded right now with Outriders. It sure does indeed. I'm going to go in for a closer look here by the supply yep. point. Uh, supply point is definitely looking pretty juicy right here. A trip going off right away. Looks like Odin's Legion is not taking any chances. They are trebling that supply point, trying to get him off there. Get him some, give him no time to breathe in that supply point. Missed for Furry, Furry or Rat and Ruffle are taking that central probe, nice little kill box. The Outriders are just fucking devastating them now. They have all Outriders out right now, just shooting oh, at them and man. sniping. Running back and forth off supply just to grab some quick ammo real quick, then run right back off. The supply point is nothing more than just an ammo game for them. Looks like Odin's Legion is going to try to make a push for the supply point trying to re-secure that roll in the back line in a 2v1 scenario as well uh, Cole 45 not really sure what he's doing just yet looks like he's just dancing on a pike Shag and Wen coming for a flanking play it's bird kind of extended at this point in time Ooh, this is some nice trades right here ladies and gentlemen this can go either way on the supply point and this might be an indicator of how the might might might, might go later on um, the towers at this point a lot of time being consumed and it's only outright is being used right now by Chaco Paladins oh, and there here goes the uh, and... 8 point here looks nice like against oh ACA. shit and, on and yep, Chaka Paladins <laughs> is also decisively uh, going. Blake versus ACA Buck on A at the moment. Onami also going in to support Blake. Also, Chaka Paladins is decisively winning the Sally. It is very shocking, ladies and gentlemen. The Sally is completely being won right now by Chaka Paladins. Uh, Odin's Legion was not ready for it. Um, the Outriders just fucking worked them, dude. There was nothing they can do. Uh, gate is closed, Ooh. confirmed. The chat is saying close the gate. The gate is closed here. It does look yep. like Odin's Legion is making a last ditch, ditch effort here for A. But there's three Chaka Paladins back in the back line now, ready to go. Onami, Jason Weston, Blake watching A right now, where the rest of the team continues to just devastate with the Outriders. Just buying time, just, just, you know, just distracting at this point. It's not even about winning here. It's more about distracting, buying. If you buy four or five minutes here, it's a big win, especially on the A hold. 
Um, not a lot of traps going off here for Odin's Legion. They're playing very conservative with their traps. Um, Shieldron Formation ISGs in the back line. I'm not really sure why or the purpose of that. Um, they're trying to get four Brachios into the mix. They're just not responding well to the Outriders. Um, they did not have a lot of Cav on the field. And uh, it is not looking good right now, ladies and gentlemen, for Odin's Legion. They are going to get... Actually, they are going to get Supply Point back here real quick. They do get Supply Point back. Chocolate Pounds is calling it. They are definitely on full retreat. Odin's Legion trying to start their retreat. Throwing a trap. Might hit Fnatic here. Uh, it does miss Fnatic. But uh, the Chocolate Pounds will not get out unscathed. They will take some damage. That trap's going to land on those Outriders right there. They Odin's Legion does get a nice little recovery in there. Um, they are still very much on the field. Currently, at, the, at this point in time, Odin's Legion has 750 units on the field to... Chuck a pound, 1,058. Thank you so much, Dow. Yes. Yep. No, you're good. What are you thinking, man? What are you thinking so far? Like, what uh, are the... So far, I think that was a pretty good strat. I mean, like, uh, not only that, the, I, uh, I don't really know much about the CBL rules, but from my understanding, you only get three lives, right? Yeah. Um, yeah, so, I mean... I understand. Yeah, if you look at the trade-off, uh, five deaths to... 14 15 now um that's a pretty good trade-off in my opinion and a lot of the uh na guys uh chocolate paladin they they got some heavy pvpers on their the, on their side you know you got co for five rip cats toes yeah this uh, uh, uh in them. they got the dmers <laughs> so, they have dmers they have the yep. dmers ready to go uh, but Take overall that map. sally was like it did a lot of damage but let's see if uh odin's uh legion could rally and you know uh, turn the tides of the battle Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, yeah. At this point in time, it does look like Chuck and Palance has gone full defensive, jumping back on the Arty that was un pretty much untouched at this point in time. Um, towers are probably going to get antied here if I had to predict at this point. Um, it does look like Odin's Legion is this time very much ready for any type of salad they may try again, but uh, Chuck and Palance is definitely not going to do that again based off the unit comps. It looks like they only had the Outriders, so um, that is pretty much that. Uh, based off the prediction, the prediction actually e even ended up evening out here, actually favoring Odin's Legion. Uh, it might be an upset here. We have to see. Yeah, Pie and Mage says they were not ready at all. Uh, yeah. And we'll see, we'll see how it goes. Up on that on the top wall right there, but it's gonna be a little hard because of the uh, unit uh, count right now. Yeah, I'm just double checking. I heard. Uh, my do I sound like I'm lagging? Am I lagging? I'm checking. I went down, I went down. Fuck. Streams down, it's restarting for 50 seconds. Sorry. Hmm. The server's lagging my PC app, bro. Interesting formation that the uh, Chocolate Paladins have. Oh, looks like someone called a Treb. Uh, but it's probably gonna miss. Yep. Ooh, those gray hair got smacked, or Iron Reapers got smacked, but it didn't do a lot of damage there. Uh, it looks like Odin's Legion is uh, massing up for a C push here, while the other half of the team is gonna go through the. Looks like they're on the wall going down towards the supply. Hard Ooh. supply push here by, um, yeah, hard supply push coming in here by Odin's Legion. Uh, yeah, chat's back up and now we're back up. It looks like everything's back up. Uh, I think the game fucking lagged me out completely there. Um, but I'm back up and we're back up and running here. Um, looks like Chocolate Pounds is really kind of standing on a supply point, kind of just camping that out, just waiting for things to go. Uh, yep. and Odin's Legion kind of taking that death ball approach to that supply point. They're staying as a team here, going for this hard, hard tab left push here. Um, we'll have to see how it's going and see what happens here. Tampa staircase pushing in now for Odin's Legion. Also coming down the central oh. staircase as well. Chocolate Pounds is going to be split here. Seven, eight strats. See what happens here. Um, it's gonna be a very tough, tough, tough push here. It's gonna be very tough indeed coming down that staircase. If they get a presence though, if Chocolate Pounds also get a presence, they could win here if they get the exchange. That supply point hold though, they have nothing blocking the supply point right now. They're just gonna be able to pull willy nilly there for Chocolate Paladins. Odin's New Legion actually taking a trip to the head there, an accident. Um, very dangerous close trap. Odin's Legion really struggling here to make a play happen. They, it does look like they do have still decent presence here. Chocolate Paladins is not responding on supply point well. They're gonna let them take supply point here. Holy shit! Oh boy. Supply point is going down. It does look like Odin's Legion is still in this fight, ladies and gentlemen. Odin's Legion take as pressure on supply in a death ball formation. Tab left for Chaka Palace is winning, but they need to rotate back down. They're way overextended on tab left right now. They are blindsided, chasing three heroes for kills instead of pushing for the supply point. Supply point is in deep shit right now for Chaka Paladins. Uh, at this point in time, it does look like Odin's Legion will walk with it. They are getting some big kills here, ladies and gentlemen. It, they, it ain't over till it's over, ladies and gentlemen. 
Um, yes, it's not over at all. It's actually very even right now. Chocolate Powers is definitely going to lose supply here. Ripcat's realizing and Blake realizing as well, but it's too late. It's already gone. It looks like Odin's Legion will take supply point here, and that's a big fucking play for Odin's Legion. They have to be able to pull and recover from this. If they recover this, if they are pulling the supply point, it does, I will have to say Chocolate Powers will have thrown their lead here if they lose the supply point like this. Yep, I will agree. Looks like that uh, tab left there where uh, they pushed up overextending. Um, Way overextended. But, yep. Now it's like now the hard part is what uh, do you defend C or B? And most likely at this point, I would probably give up the two points and go set up a home. Yeah. Yeah, because that's that supplies basically your lifeline on the uh, choke points here. So. <laughs> yeah. So it looks like Odin's Legion has this supply completely locked down. Chocolate Paladin's realizing the the, 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 the situation. They're not even defending B right now. They're just not there, man. They're just not there. Uh, Essie and Roll are there, but that's it. It looks like they're trying to push back into it by stopping them from like, uh, spawning out troops. So. They're very late. That push is yep. in vain. Uh, Chaka Palace jumping on the supply point, but it's way too late. They already pulled. They pulled 30 seconds ago. Here comes um, Roll with the cat from behind. See if he can make a big play here. And... And... Cataphrax! What the? Can I get a question mark? <laughs> <laughs> Why? Why cataphracts? And it's over. Uh, Oda's Legion is just feeding at this point. They're kind of inting into the supply point. Maybe trying to buy it. They just realized three minutes. Let's just keep them caved in there. Keep them tied up. Oda's Legion kind of really playing conservative here. Staying in their death ball. Just kind of camping it out. They really don't have time to sit here like this. They have to make a play for something. Um, and even if they do, they actually, Odin Legion is actually in a tough situation here. And I'm going to explain why they're in a tough situation. One, the clock timer is their biggest threat. Two minutes and 50 seconds. And they're just kind of lollygagging. And if they go to B, they're going to be sandwiched by the C players. And look at the stack over by C. So this team by supply point can't really make a push here. Maybe they send two or three guys to B to go fight that out and keep the rest of the C guys locked up. But they really kind of have to make a play here. Um, they will do that strat. They will go B with a few handful of players. But they're not, it's just not enough. It's just not enough. The supply point P team needs to, Probably leave like four guys back to watch their back line. The rest need to go straight to B and cap it. But um, it does look like Chocolate Pounds also sees the situation. Ripcat's making a play over there. OG Fanatic giving them support. Fluffy, Kit Rabbit as well. Um, it does look like Odin's Legion will get it though either way. Ripcat's actually adding units and running. Uh, Fluffy Rabbit doing the same. Essie coming back but doesn't look like he has any help. Um, OG Fanatic fighting for his life. Probably will die there. He does die. Um... Odin's Legion will get B here. If they get B here, it's going to be a tough shift for... Um, it's going to be a very tough situation for Chocolate Paladins. Um, Chocolate Paladins realize is playing even more conservative than Odin's Legion at this point. I'm not really sure... I, I'm not really sure if this was the play. Um, their Seaside team has completely fell back to home. They are giving B and C here, it looks like. Pringles and Shaggin buying some time, but they're not going to be able to get their units out. Chocolate Paladins will lose a full set of Reapers over here, ladies and gentlemen, on Seaside for free. Completely for free. Um, communication seems to be faltering in Chocolate Palance at this point in time. Odin's Legion is making comeback after comeback. Um, that first exchange by Chocolate Palance was huge, but Odin's Legion has come back for, with vengeance, and they are uh, not giving up so easy. This is going to be a very close fight, ladies and gentlemen, shockingly. Um, oh, wow. Yeah. Uh, I, I would also like to point out that this has turned into a 13 on 13. Looks like two, two players on each side have been eliminated per the uh, three death rule. Absolutely. Um, so... We'll see how this goes. I mean, like, um, let's see if uh, Chocolate Paladins could uh, hold the home point here. I, like I said, man, it's like Odin's Legion, they're a sleeper team. Don't they, count them out. They, they don't count them out. I honestly, I honestly thought it was over for them on that Sally. That Sally was huge, and Odin's Legion said, fuck that. We might have fucked up on the Sally, but with this, we're freaking ready to go. They're back in position. They're back ready to play. That infantry is really coming into play here. Chocolate Paladins going for a very conservative approach, classic approach on home point here. I, uh, Falcos are banned, so no Falcos in play, which is very helpful for the attackers, um, because defending Falcos here are freaking OP. And no Keshigs in the fight either, and that's where also NA thrives on Keshigs. So, um, two hindering units for NA here that we both, that NA definitely loves. Um, very tough situation right now for Chocolate Paladins. They have six minutes on the clock, and, um, uh, currently, right now, the death count is the same. Units on the field is still favored by Chocolate Paladins by a couple hundred, but that can change very, very quickly. And as you can see, Alchemist is throwing at Essie right now, who's just taking it to the face, and his impact just getting slammed. Um, so it'll be nice and softened up by the time they get in there. Uh, a very tough situation right now. We'll have to see how it goes. It can go either way for either team at this point in time. It's going to come down to exchanges. It's going to come down to skill. And it's going to come down to just dignities, man. Who got? Who has more? Who's going to win with some dignity? And uh, at this point in time, tab left side is going to be pushed here by Odin's Legion. Florida Broncos retreating. Not sure why. Chocolate Palace. Okay, they're going to. Not even sure why. Um, they're just going to give that out away for free completely. Uh, their total tab left flank. It's lagging again. Uh, the server's lagging again, man. 
On tab left side. <laughs> on tab left side right now. Uh, on tab left side right now. It looks like <laughs> they're just giving oh, it. Man. Why are they giving that? Tal, why are they giving that? <laughs> I have no clue. I I was not a part of this, so. <laughs> Tal, they're literally giving it. Yo. Oh What's no! Here comes the death ball. Here comes the death ball. Here comes the death, comes the death ball. And there's a central approach also by Orton's Legion, splitting Chocolate Paladins in two. Chocolate Paladins is letting them get space by space, not engaging. They have a really healthy death ball. They have a really healthy trump coming in as well. They're trying to get woodcutters. Oh no. They're on point though. Oh no. It is not looking good right now, ladies and gentlemen, for Chocolate Paladins at all. Um, the server's lagging. Tao? Hello? Did I crash? Oh man, it's just like a scuffle out there on the field. I'm and fucking oh, lagging my cock off. off. They go. Advantage Chocolate Paladins seems to have it, but unit wide, since I'm seeing a lot of blues on the uh, on, on the field right now, so we'll see. Oh my yeah. god, the lag! Cap home point. Let's see if Dad was able to make the play. Yeah, we'll see if it makes the play right now. Does look like Chaka Palin is fighting for their lives. It looks like Otis Legion is also fighting for their lives. Very, very tight knit fight right now. Really have to see where it goes here and see what happens. Uh, it's it gonna be like tight. Chaka it's gonna be tight. Chaka Paladin is winning the trade off. It looks like uh, Chaka Paladin is winning the trade off. Uh, two, four, six. Uh, Odin Legion's got six guys on the field right oh now. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Here we go. Let's see if Chocolate Paladins could make the play. I mean, like, I don't. I, don't, I, like, I mean, I think they should have this. Chocolate Paladins should have this, right? Yep. They, yep. Should, have they should have this. They should have this. There we go. Chocolate Paladins cleaning up Odin's Legion. Your Odin's Legion getting <laughs> fucking scuffed out real quick. Uh, oh, good fight. Good fight. Good fight. Really scuffed. Yeah, it does yep. look like Chocolate Paladins will walk away with the dub here. Get away with the free with the free win here. Um, Odin's Legion trying to get back on their feet. They are down quite a few players this time, but so is. So is uh, uh, Chaka Palins at this point in time. Very tight knit fight here. Very tight knit fight. So units, I'm not sure who has what left, but it looks like it's pretty even right now. Um, Very even. Yep. In terms of heroes, it looks like uh, Chaka Palins might have the numbers advantage. But, you know, uh, I still see Cav out for the Odin's Legion, so that could always be this a could be that all this is like game still, changer. This is still anybody's game right now. It does look like some green, some some white pikes are still in the field for Chocolate Paladins, but they have Cav out right now for um, decent Cav and decent Unicomp still for Odin's Legion here. They could come back from this, ladies and gentlemen. They could come back. Yep, um, I still see. Looks like Shinji Cunners. Iron Reapers. <laughs> this isn't over. This isn't over. Odin's Legion realizing that it's not over. That the unit counts are still very much even. This is a very even fight, ladies and gentlemen. What a good fight. Yep. Here we go. PG's Take going in. Push. PG, Senji's, and Cav ready to go versus White Pikes. This could be game changing. This could be it. This could be it. I'm getting it for a closer look. Oh. Oh my god. Up. And in coming trap, the PG is being very big. <laughs> they are just doing the thing in full front line, and the pikes are on the back line going for the sentries, realizing the dire of the situation. Chaka Fallon is giving them no time to breathe. It does look like Thomas will take a double kill there, though. Uh, Dragon Arc making a flanking play with the Cav. Oh my god! This is Oh no, it's not good for Chaka Fallon. That's a decent flank. What the hell was that? What is he doing? And oh, it was the flight was yeah. late, and I don't know what I don't know what happened there. And they yeah. had rip cats on uh, fighting like four, three, like four or five guys right there. <laughs> <laughs> nope, they got it. Oh man, PG's engaging fully at this point in time. It is PG's four chocolate paladins. Um, here it is, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, here it is. You're right in the front lines. Uh, it is very much going to go to Chaka Paladins here. The organization really came back, and they really came quite far here. But Chaka Paladins, even though they made it a, 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 a kind of like a, 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 a dish, like a whole, a whole, a whole plethora of mistakes at, at the halfway through the fight, did come back. Are going to take home here and going to Sally out and leave home for free? Why would they do that? They're just chasing kills, man. Matt needs to stay back. Someone needs to watch Point Man. Make me nervous. Yeah, watching this. Hey, Blake, if you're hearing this, you're the captain. You stay back, bro. Yeah, really. Chocolate muck, bro. Holy <laughs> smokes. Uh, it does look like at this point in time, the Odin's Legion team is just completely wiped. Uh, a couple of handful of stragglers left in the fight. But other than that, uh, Chaka Palace has pretty much secured the day. Uh, walking away with a uh, decisive dub here.
Yeah, it's uh, it, that was a good fight. Um, came down to the wire even after the Sally. And yeah, it's like CBL yeah. rules, guys. That three death, man, it hurts. Yeah, it's, <laughs> yeah those are, that's a very tough roll. That's a very tough roll. Yep. So uh, oh. congratulations to Chocolate Palace. They will walk away with the first dub of the night, first dub of the fights. Uh, unfortunately, it was a bit laggy there for me, man. I was very laggy there. Um, oh, I'm on the same page. Yeah, you were lagging too. There, it wasn't just me. Like my internet, I checked my internet when my stream went down. I I had 300 download and 85 upload. Um, Ooh. So I was like, how the hell am I um, lagging so bad? I think the server fucking like shit my computer. Um, really it doesn't. I've done this many times now. It doesn't normally happen. So if people watching the chat, if I lagged out there a couple times. I apologize. That's not normal for me. Um, I mean, look at the. I mean, look at this post battle anal analytics real quick. I should be shrink my camera. I forgot to shrink my camera. Uh, hold on. Uh, let's look at this post battle analytics. I mean, this is just look at the Sally, dude. They, they could just see that there was like a chocolate paladins here really did a really nice job with this Sally. They bought a lot of time yep. there. Uh, probably could have just won on A if they just committed A. Um, really play conservative. I would agree. Yes. Yeah. They yep. they played very conservative on their points and uh, really were just trying to play it slow and play it smart. But in their conservative playing it slow and smart pace stage, they made a lot of mistakes that left a lot of room for error. Um, by full committing and just keeping the pressure on these guys, Odin's Legion was not comfortable with being pressured at all. Um, they liked slow and steady, and then the minute they got time to breathe is when they started making huge plays. Um, for example, on the staircase play, when they're by Seaside, when on staircase, and then on the, in the, on the mid staircase over here, if you guys can see my mouse, I hope you can, uh, over here, um, where it says rolling over here by the supply point, they, I, Odin's Legion made, really came back here, made a huge game changing play. Um, we're able to. They got pa pushed out on tab left stairs by Ripcats and Blake, but Chaka Paladins overextended there, chased the heroes, and Odin's Legion, which main push was actually here, was able to distract enough people on tab left to make a big decisive play here. And Chaka Paladins, realizing the error of their mistake, tried to like, kind of int in their guys there, making even a bigger mistake than doing more harm than good here. Um, and they lost a lot. Chaka Paladins really kind of lost their advantage at this point in time. They must have been up a couple hundred units and kind of gave that all back to Odin's Legion here on this midway between B and C. Um, Odin's Legion made a really good push on tab left side. Uh, again, I'm pushing for home, and uh, Chaka Paladins kind of let him breathe there for a little bit, but just, I lagged a little bit there, unfortunately. His fucking lag just picked up out of nowhere, unfortunately. I really couldn't get a good view. But um, they really kind of, they got, just, I think Chaka Paladins just won the trade there. They also had a central push coming in as well, and Chaka Paladins just, they just pulled some fucking magic and just literally came back from nothing and made something happen on a home point. Um, that was looking a lot towards Odin Legion right there. If I was a gambling man on home point, Odin Legion could have had that at any point. Um, but they just lost the exchanges decisively to the, to Chaka Palance there. And Chaka Palance really kind of showed their DM skills. And when it comes down to hero versus hero combat, that's where they definitely excel. And um, that's where they showed it there on that home point.